Okay. Is that like makeup and like, not like professional? <laughs> I can try. I can try. <laughs> this week's topic is going to be about Africa. Africa is a very unique continent where more than 3,000 tribes exist. More than 2,000 languages are spoken and there are only 54 countries. The African continent also divides itself into two sections, the North Africa and the Sub-Saharan Africa. North Africa has Egypt, Libya, Morocco and other countries and Sub-Saharan Africa is all the countries that, are, that is below that. I'm not an expert in the African culture but I was able to bring some friends from Africa and remember they're part of one of the thousands of tribes that exist in Africa so their experiences do not reflect the experiences of all Africa. But for those that are very ignorant about the African tribe culture, just like me, I feel that you will appreciate what you're gonna hear and that you're gonna enjoy what my friends are gonna share with you. <laughs> okay, so then first, uh, your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Michael and I'm from Kenya. Okay, and then uh, what is the name of your tribe? And give me some des uh, brief description about your tribe. My tribe is called Kamba and our language is called Kikamba. My name is Precious and I'm from Zimbabwe. So I grew up in Mashwana land with like another tribe. So okay. I'm really more accustomed to like the Shona way of living oh. than the Zebele. That's very interesting, like because you heard your dad's culture but then you can have you can be more familiarized with another culture. Exactly. So I am from Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. My tribe, my father has his tribe, um, uh -huh. I don't know say tribe, but typically we inherit from the father tribe and my tribe on the father's side is called Awala. 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 And then on my mom's side, actually it's a, it's a mix because my mom has like some Hausa and Fulani. We are probably the third or fourth largest tribe in Kenya and we are probably the coolest tribe as most people would actually tell you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, we like chilling out a lot, uh, socializing, we are very informal with each other and that is actually one of the big advantages of being a camera. There's definitely like music and then we also have like our own instruments that like yeah started in Zimbabwe, it's called Zimbira. Okay. I feel like the, for the most part like Zimbabweans tend to like adopt other people's cultures. Okay. And art Make it as, better? Not really, I don't think they make anything better, but they're, but they're not like as proud of their own like culture, like the cultural gobs for example. We wear Nigerian stuff oh, yeah, more than... Yeah. I'll tell you the Wala are more likely to be um, farmers, right? Okay. And traders. Mm. But then the Fulani people are uh, mostly... The idea is that most of them are like cattle heads. Yeah, they are nomads. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they are nomads most mm. of the time and then they travel between Ghana um, and Nigeria and the rest of uh, West Africa. So then the movement along those countries is through generations, right? Uh, or is it, or could it be through one lifetime? It could be through, it, it, I think it depends on where the business is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so because they are traders and also ranchers, it's like, you, you drive the cattle to where you're going to get a market to sell them. Oh. Wherever there's a biz there's business and then wherever there's food to feed that, the cattle, that's where we go to. So, if I'm a tourist going to Kenya, uh, what could I do there? Safari. Safari is one of the most important things you can do in Kenya. Mm. We have around seven national parks and plenty of game reserves. You can find all the big five animals. What are the five animals? We have the lion, elephant, buffalo, cheetah, and one just escaped my mind. Cheetah, lion, uh, elephant. So Zimbabwe was voted like the number one tourist destination, like, I don't know, 2015. Really? <laughs> In the world? Yeah. Um, so like, yeah, um, the touristy things to do, like the Victoria Falls. Okay. Which is like one of the seven natural wonders of the world. So somewhere, something from the south, I say, like for those along the coast, you probably get what we call kinky, kinky, kinky and fried fish or banku, banku and okuru soup. They're, <laughs> they are all corn, corn based, corn based. Then with the Ashanti food, you have more um, the the fufu, okay. which is also um, which is cassava. Can you tell me a proverb, a very famous proverb from your tribe? Um, and the proverb is 
Rua B Nyami Banza. What does that mean? Rua B Nyami Banza. Ah, it means water does not get better without a cause. So it's, I think the interpretation of a proverb is there's a reason for everything. So the following video is not actually a proverb. Um, Precious is actually going to say a tongue twister, a very cool tongue twister because her language does click sounds. So I hope you enjoy it. What? Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, right, I just... <laughs> uh, one of the most famous proverbs we have in Kamba goes like this. Yuliya Musigi Kosacha Kova. And what this essentially means is when you don't need to use something, Never throw it away. Just keep it. You might need it one day. Huh, and how do you apply that to real life? So, could you, could you give me an example? So, one example could be, if you meet someone, and after some point in time you part ways, keep in touch with that person, because you might meet again. So, never think that some things are just meant for the time being, but they can actually be a permanent long time aspect so always take every moment seize every moment keep it communicate with people hold on hold on to them and you never know what's come gonna come up damn that's a really good advice <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video as always if you like this video give it a like if you want to comment on anything comment it below if you want to check my other videos it's right here in this corner if you want to subscribe to this channel Right there, on that corner. And as always, peace out. Peace.